In this work, we discuss theory and practice of the perimeter defense problem between a ground intruder and an aerial vehicle. This work was done by University of Pennsylvania, George Mason University, and NYU. There has been no previous work in realizing the perimeter defense system with real robots, and the major challenge lies in coping with the discrepancy between first-order assumptions of point particles and high-order dynamics of real robots. This paper focuses on the hemisphere perimeter defense, and the optimal strategy for both defender and intruder are known for this special case with proof detailed in the previous work as shown on the left. This work aims to simulate the robot using the optimal strategy derived from the theory as shown on the right. With that being said, we observe any discrepancy between the performance from theory and practice and discuss how relaxing point particle assumption below would lead to the discrepancy. As shown on the right, the robot does not follow the point particle assumptions in practice. In the experiments, we will focus on observing the discrepancy in system scales and strategies. We change the radius of hemisphere for the first experiment and observe any discrepancy. We also define a metric LD as a geodesic between players at terminal time to see the difference in defender's optimal strategy. With a radius of 5, since the system scale is comparable to the robot scale, the UAV dynamic is sensitive to control inputs. The UAV may accelerate well to get up to the maximum speed, and the resulting LD is lower than expected. This is the result with a radius of 50. This large scale is closer to the point particle assumption with a smooth trajectory, and the LD is matched with the outcome from the fourth order assumptions. As for the second experiment, discrepancy between strategies are considered. We propose a metric LS as a distance between players at terminal time. Although the discrepancy is very small, it is found that the baseline strategy can outperform the optimal strategy with a larger LS remained at terminal time. There is less delay in executing the baseline strategy since it does not compute the optimal breaching point, but follow the azimuth direction of intruder. Thank you for watching.